Well, hello! Today, we are going to be doing another science project. Actually, a science experiment to witness an exothermic reaction. Ooh, so what are we going to need for this? We need some dish soap. We're going to need a tablespoon of active dry yeast. You're gonna be needing some hydrogen peroxide, but it's not the one that you would normally get um, at the store. That's 6%, you need at least 8% hydrogen peroxide. This is 12%. So you can find that, oh, online, or you can find it at hair supply stores, all right? And food coloring, which is optional, and a tablespoon. We're going to be using a tablespoon of yeast. So, since this is science, I'm going to be needing my goggles because we're going to see quite a reaction here. Oh, and I forgot the one more thing. Unless you're doing this outside, it's best to have it in a big container so you can catch it. Catch what's going to happen. Oh, and I forgot the one other thing we need. A bottle. This is a one liter bottle. You can use a two liter bottle. And I also forgot to mention a funnel. All right. So, what do we need to start this? A couple squirts of our dish soap. I hope that's enough. Okay. Then we're going to need the hydrogen peroxide. So, we need a half a cup of that. Here I go. All right, I'm gonna pour that in. And once you pour it in, you mix it up. Whoops, some of it fell out. Okay. Ah, then you need your, where is my water? Oh, warm water, I forgot to mention this. Another half a cup of warm water water and you're going to add the yeast to the warm water. So let me slide this sideways so you can see what I'm doing. As I said, we need a tablespoon of that. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm just going to put it in there. All right. So this yeast is going to be the catalyst. A catalyst is something that speeds up a reaction. All right. Mix that well. So we are going to be speeding up the release of oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide. All right. Now before we add that into our bottle, you can add the food coloring. And the project we're making today is often called elephant toothpaste. That sounds funny. Do elephants really use toothpaste? Well, not this. They don't use this as toothpaste, but what's going to happen is something that is very, very foamy. Kind of like toothpaste, but you're just not going to believe how much is going to come out of here. So we're going to put a little on that side and a little on this side. It comes out so thick and so big that it almost looks like toothpaste that something big could use, like elephants or whales or something big, a big animal. All right, let's see if this works. I need my funnel. You just pour your mixture in. I'll give it one more little swirl. And then we're gonna see our chemical reaction. So we've got our catalyst, the yeast that we added to the warm water. We're gonna pour it in here. And let's see if it makes the elephant toothpaste or whatever large animal you would like this to be. All right, here we go. Oh, something's definitely happening. Woo! Oh my goodness, look at that. It does look like elephant toothpaste, doesn't it? And you add the food coloring because it kind of makes it look swirly, like toothpaste sometimes looks. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I could do it over and over again. Now, because it is a chemical reaction, I'm going to feel this. Yeah, 
once the bottle is warm. So you can touch this, there's nothing toxic in it, but you gotta wait a little bit, wait for it to cool down because it got hot because the chemical reaction happened. Oh my gosh, how fun to learn about the exothermic reaction and a catalyst, the yeast that speeds up the reaction and the oxygen that was in the peroxide gets released, it gets stuck to the soap and that's what causes it to get all bubbly like that. So that was a lot of fun and I hope you can try this at home sometime. I had a great fun, I'll see you next time, bye.